Hello friend and fellow mover, Julia here again, and today I have for you an absolutely awesome ab attack. So we are focused entirely in this brief routine on abs and core. I do have for you a bonus at the end, which uh, is not much of a surprise if you preview the video, but it's a hit duet. Most of this routine, however, is low intensity, focused really just on abdominal core stamina and endurance. You don't need a separate warm up, but that said, I suggest you do one. I did one myself, and I recommend that you do a warm up prior to this so that for no other reason, although there are other reasons, but for no other reason is that it puts you inside your body. So you want to be self-aware, you want to be connected, you want all of the wonderful mind, body, neurons firing so that you have a really great connection uh, between the central nervous system up here and your somatic nervous system which is in your body. And if they can be speaking to one another and you are all uh, connected and attuned and ready to rock out, I think you'll get a lot more out of this one. Uh, but again, to circle back to my first statement, you don't need an independent warm up if you're short on time. The first segment will serve as your point of entry. It's a really nice activation set. Okay, so please read the description to see what's coming your way. You can also always preview through the video. And if you'd like to hang in there with me to the bitter end, uh, I do send you off with a good sweat and a high heart rate. It all goes very quickly. And I think we're gonna have a really good time doing it. All right, I will see you on the mat and uh, get ready to have some absolutely abtop, abtaculous, <laughs> abtaculous fun with me. Okay, my friend, we are ready to get started. So the timer is set. We've got uh, 20 seconds, 10 seconds, alternating 20, 10 throughout. Our very first series of movements will serve as our warm up. So come down onto your back. There are two orientations you're gonna see today. You're gonna see lying down and you're gonna see planks. So those are the only two positions we're gonna be in. Spending lots of good time down on the mat today. So the first series of movements is beginning with this bent knee, 90, 90, 90 at the knee, 90 at the hip. Take your arms straight up and take opposite arm and leg out into extension and then back to your start position. And this is 20 seconds, just back and forth. Head is down for these. This is your dead bug, it's an alternating Contralateral, if we're being technical, right? Contra, contralateral is just referring, let's hold to the center, just refers there to opposite hand and knee. So we're just holding center. This time we're going to do only the left arm and leg. So just the left arm and leg. This is a unilateral because we're doing one side. So notice the difference there between the contralateral and the unilateral. Just the left arm and leg. Everything else stabilizes. Good, hold center, pause at center. I'm gonna change this pause next time just a tiny bit for you, but let's go right side now. Here we go. Right leg, right arm. Nothing fancy to get us started. Again, just looking to get connected, looking to awaken our core body so that we can enjoy all the other fun and games to come. and hold center. This is what I'm going to add. Do a little upper body crunch. So you just lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Pause. Everything else is the same. We're going to be coming back down, okay? And now go back to the contralateral. Whoops. <laughs> go back to the contralateral so it's opposites. I'm just breathing here, getting focused. Hold center, crunch up. Good, we're gonna hold the crunch. Bring your hands behind your head. And now just from your hips, you're gonna open and close. 
tapping your toes to the ground. So the knee joint, the angle there at the knee does not change. So no change at the knee. This is all happening from the hip, right there. Back up to hold, keep your crunch and reach your arms. Now the legs stay exactly the same, low back is grounded. Reach your arms overhead, and then as you sweep up, circle and reach under your legs. So overhead and circle and sweep. Overhead and circle. Up and hold, arms up. Good, hands behind head, we're going back to the legs. Let's do another set. So just toe taps here. Remember, it's not moving from your knees to get your toes down. It's moving from your hips to open and close the front of your hip joint, keeping your low back grounded. And hold, arms up. We're gonna do the upper body crunch one more time. So keep your legs, hands behind your head. Oh, excuse me, arms overhead. <laughs> and here we go. Circle around and reach overhead. <laughs> Circle and reach. Attempt to tap your fingers under your legs. Finish up, pull up one more time. You're crunched, you're lifted in your upper body. We're gonna be having a short rest in three, two, and one short rest, come down. So shake that out as you need. Next two moves, 20 seconds of the first move, 10 seconds of the second move. Everything goes quite quickly here. So first move, we're gonna have the knees bent closer towards the chest, hands behind head, we're curled and crunched up, and then one leg goes forward and you pull it back in, other leg goes forward and you pull it back in. So that's gonna be your 20 seconds. For your 10 seconds, there's no rest, you're gonna go straight into this leg vertical position, and then cross taps, attempting, <laughs> again, striving and doing your absolute best to tap your outer ankle, possibly your outer foot, depending on your proportions, but you're getting as high as you can in that crunch and doing the uh, side to side action so you get rotation. Okay, 2010 ready, in 10 seconds we'll begin. First position is hands behind head, curl crunch your upper body and pull your elbows and knees towards each other. Good, and then take one leg out straight and pull it in. Other leg out straight and pull it in. I'm gonna add in the next round when we see this again, I'm gonna add my upper body going up and down. That's an option. I'm gonna let you choose if you wanna do this or that. But here we are now, legs straight up and a cross crunch. Now these are quick. So get a really nice, sharp, fast little rhythm. And now hands behind your head and we go back to this. Now, if you want to add, when your knees come in, your head goes down. And then as I come up, I tap my elbow to my knee. So if you want to add the up and down crunch of the upper body, please feel welcome to do so. It's your option. Hold legs up and quick cross crunch, go. You've only got 10 seconds, so go, go, go. Hands behind head. And we're back to this. So we slow it down. Full range here. Which means the leg goes all the way out, all the way in. If your upper body is moving, it goes all the way up, all the way down. Ready to hold, and here we go. Cross crunch. So we're starting to get some good warmth, some good heat in there. Let's keep going. Hands to head. And begin. These are called knee chaser crunches because as you crunch up, if you're crunching up, you're chasing that leg that goes straight. It's a never ending pursuit. Good legs up and cross. Ready. 
ready, and go again. Knee chaser crunch. And remember, you can stay crunched up in your upper body the whole time if you prefer that position. Just five seconds. Legs go straight up. How you doing? <laughs> I hope you're hanging in with me. We got two more rounds. Here we go. So of course that's two rounds of everything, of both of these moves. But because these timings are so short, it really does go quite quickly, guys. Up and hold, and cross crunch. Faster. Yes, nice, and knee chasers, here we go. So now that you know the movements, we're down to these last couple rounds. Please give it all you've got. We will be taking a short rest before our next uh, duet. Straight up and go. Fast right away. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go one last time, guys. One last one. This is it. Doing such a great job right away. Legs straight up and let's go. Nice, sharp, and precise movements. And you're done. All right, take a short rest. Awesome, awesome job. Next movement, we've got again a pair, which is our duet. We're gonna be working now in plank. The timing, however, is the same. So we're still doing 20 tens, but we're gonna be reorienting into plank position. So setting up to come into plank, we're gonna be going up and down from high plank to an elbow plank, and that is your 20 second interval, is up, up, down, down. Then when we hear the beep for 10 seconds, we're gonna hold in our elbow plank, and we simply repeat for eight rounds. Okay, come into your high plank. Let's go down on the right elbow and then down on the left elbow, up on the right hand and up on the left hand. Now go down left, down right, up left, up right, down right, down left, up right, up left. And as we go down now onto elbows, hold, because this is your 10 seconds right here. So, that's all we're doing, and we're just going to do a lot more of it. Ready to come up on your left? All right, begin. Now, I'm not going to talk you through all of it. I'm going to let you change sides and go at your own pace now that you know what we're doing. If you get a little mixed up uh, with your rights and your lefts, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. <laughs> all right, elbow plank and hold. Anytime you'd like, you can place your knees down for all of this, any of this. Twenty seconds of ups and downs. And I like to mix and match with these climbers. So right now I'm going all on my right side. Next time I'll go all on my left. Good, down to elbows. And then often, like we started together, I will alternate. So because you've got eight rounds, you can mix and match a little bit. Just make sure, here we go, up and down. Just make sure you uh, balance it out as best you can so that you don't get too one side dominant. We're getting ready to hold. There it is, hold at the bottom. You're doing so great. Squeeze your bum, really use your glutes in these planks. And begin up and down again. So it's starting to catch up a little bit. Keep breathing, you're doing great.
Five seconds and we hold. Down and hold. We have three more rounds to go. And we're off. Keep breathing. Engage your core and your glutes. Down and hold. Let's go for two more rounds, guys. Two more. Keep breathing. You got this. It's not that bad right? It's not that bad. We can do this all day. Okay, down and hold. Maybe not. But we are going to do it for one more round. How about that? Ready and go. Last one. Then we take a short rest. Are you breathing? I hope so. Down and hold, last 10 seconds, right here. Oh, it goes so fast. So fast, in three, two, and rest. Whew, rest on one. Now, we do have, <laughs> hello puppy. <laughs> hello puppy. <laughs> we do have another duet in plank. For planks part two, everything here is done from the elbows, so we're oriented in elbow plank 20 seconds, 10 seconds. For our 20 second intervals, we're going to be doing single sided wide knee tucks. And then for the 10 seconds, we're going to hold in a side elbow plank on that same side. So I'm going to have you start with me. Let's come into elbow plank. Just your left knee is going to tuck up towards your outer left arm and keep going left side. On this one, we do not alternate, so it is single-sided unilateral. Getting ready for side plank, coming on your left elbow and holding here. You can always keep those top fingertips down on the ground for extra support, okay. As you come elbow plank, go right side now. So we switch to the right side. Then we'll be holding side elbow plank on the right side. And we're just going to go back and forth like that. It's going to go really quickly, but it's not easy. <laughs> right side to hold. Go ahead, open up. Ooh, balance. Again, you can keep your top fingers down for added stability. Ready? Let's go left side, tucks. So now you know what you're doing. You just have to do it. Keep breathing. Nice and steady. Five seconds and we hold on this left elbow. Set up, open up. There it is. Hold and breathe. Three, two, Right side tucks and begin. So you get right into it. There's no time to waste when it's just 2010. Everything goes super fast. Three seconds. And hold on the right elbow. Getting right into balance. Breathe. Left side go, 20 seconds to tuck it out. Tuck it up <laughs> and tuck it out. Left side hold, stacking shoulders and hips, 
Ready for your right side and begin. Here we go, on the right. After this, we do each side just one more time. Ready to hold. Here we go. So we've got left and then right, and we're done with this one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Three, two, and left side go. Right into it. I hope you're having fun. <laughs> this is what it's about right here. We are in it. Hold. So we've got one last round on the right. And go. You're doing so great. Hang in. You are almost there. Five seconds, then we hold. Open up. Right here. Such an amazing job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Rest and recover. Take a moment to yourself. That is a ton of work on the shoulders as well as the core. Shake out what you need to shake out. We have one more challenge here today for our, whew, for our core and abs. And then we'll do cardio as an option. So I do have a little high intensity surprise at the end if you're into that. <laughs> but let's do this first. We're gonna come back down onto our backs and do one more 20, 10, eight rounds. That's four minutes. So for this final four minute push, we are on our backs the whole time. And this is the pattern that we're gonna do for 20, 10. I'm gonna have my legs split, one leg up and one leg out. Reaching over to the outside of the top leg, so it's a sustained upper body twist. I'm gonna lower and lift this top leg for 20 seconds. Then, when we hear the beat for 10 seconds, we're gonna do some quick, you can go quite a bit faster than this if you like, quick little bicycles in the middle and then of course we're gonna be over on the other side, holding the upper body in rotation the whole time. So, it's quite a burnout because it is four minutes straight, 20, 10, eight times. Let's give it a go. Starting the timer, we've got 10 seconds to get in position. So down on your back, choose which side you'd like to start on, come up, twist, and then do a leg lift on just that one side. So although it is only 20 seconds, which means not too many repetitions, it's going to catch up quickly because it is very demanding. Three, two, and now bicycles and switch sides. Or do your bicycles here for 10 seconds and then we will switch sides. Good, so you're on the other side to do single leg leg lowers. And part of the challenge here is to make these transitions as seamless and graceful <laughs> as you possibly can. Bicycles. Now because we're tired and this is tough stuff, you might decide to give yourself a rest <laughs> at some point. So you're back on your first side. So what you can do is just instead of bicycles, you could insert 10 seconds of rest. So here, for instance, bicycle or rest. And you can choose as we proceed which one of those you prefer. We are going to be doing single leg leg lowers. Second side, here we go. 
So you make sure you get these wonderful 20 second intervals of single leg leg lowers. But if you want to take out the bicycles, that's your choice. Ready, go. So either bicycle or rest. We're getting ready for the second side. Good, so you're on your other side and begin. Ten seconds here. Rest or bicycle. We're preparing to go to the other side. Really working a lot of rotation here. And also, of course, a ton of stability. And thirdly, you're getting um, quite the hip flexor burn because <laughs> the hip flexors on that leg are working really hard to lift and lower. Rest or bicycles. We have two more rounds to go, guys. Let's hang in there, push through. Ah, uh, here we go. Leg lowers. Five seconds. Rest your bicycle. We got one more round. You're doing such a great job. Ready in three, two, here we go. Try to keep your shoulder blades up as best you can. Tough stuff. Bicycle, let's try to finish with those bicycles. This is it. And rest. Amazing job. Those are quite tough. So, if you're leaving me here <laughs> flopped on the ground, uh, thank you so much for joining me for those abs today. That was awesome. Those were awesome abs absolutely awesome abs but if you have a little bit more juice in your tank today I have a final push for you um, this is high intensity cardio so we're going to be moving much more dynamically but we're still activating a lot of core so we're building on what we just did okay so let's come up into a standing position this pattern involves jumping to a plank, forward towards a little bit of a squat, back to a plank and up to standing. So, looks like back to plank, forward, land your feet like a frogger, like a frog, right? And then plank, and then stand up. And you can also do a jump at the top if you like. As you get more comfortable with it, you can pick up your pace. Okay, starting the timer. What we're going to do, guys, is 20 seconds of that, and then 10 seconds rest. Eight rounds, here we go. So back into plank, then a frogger. Back into a plank, and stand on up. Go again, plank, frogger, plank, and stand. When you stand, you can have your feet any distance apart you like. Rest, you get 10 seconds, straight up rest. One down, seven to go. Three, two, and we're off. Remember, jump at the top is optional. Sometimes it's kind of fun. Rest. Awesome. So you can mix and match with that jump at the top. Do it some of the time. Don't do it other times. Up to you. Here we go. Good. 
Again, now that you're more familiar, maybe you pick up the pace a little bit. Rest. Just challenging yourself to get your heart rate a little bit higher today. And go. Five seconds. Rest. Wonderful. Awesome job. Halfway. We've got four more to go. Set. And we're off. Rest. Should be feeling it now. Get a little breathy. Ready? Begin, here we go. Time rest. Two more. Hopefully, getting a little out of breath now, that's good. Set. And begin. Just stay focused. It's all good. You got this. Five seconds. Time. Rest. One more. Awesome. Let's do it. Best one yet. Almost there. Time, recover, extra rest. Amazing job. Wow. I have one more thing for you. I have one more thing, but first, recover, catch your breath, move around a little bit, let your heart rate down. We're going to be going back for one more push in plank position. Okay, so for our final push in plank, we're staying dynamic. And of course, at this point, as you might assume, 2010 is our timing. We're doing cross body mountain climbers. Let's come onto our hands. We're gonna be running our legs on a diagonal. So right knee towards left elbow, left knee towards right elbow, and we run it. Next round, I'm gonna show you the rear view just so you can see that perspective. But get this going, 10 seconds here. Nice and light on those feet. Three, two, one, come down and rest. I'm gonna show you one from the rear so you can see the um, cross diagonal, the X of it. Ready? And begin, run it out. Keep running, work in the side waist here. And rest. Awesome. Two down. Six to go. Three. Ready? Two. And begin. Just kind of dance your legs underneath you. Upper body solid in a plank the whole time. Rest, three down, five to go, almost there. This is your last big push for this routine, guys. 
Ready? Begin. It's only 20 seconds, so please give it all you have left here today. Rest. Such an awesome job. Four to go. Set. Begin. Again, work really hard during the 20 seconds, knowing that you get the 10 seconds to recover. And knowing that this is the end of your program for today. Recover, rest. Awesome, 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 awesome. We're just pushing through to the end. Three, two, set, and go. Last two, and that's it guys, final minute, one minute. Ready, and go. Keep working, almost there. Time, we have one final round. Last big push right here. Five seconds. Show me what you got. Here we go. This is it. Ten seconds. Pick it up, pick it up a little faster. Five seconds. Time. Rest. Recover, you have made it. Woo. If it would feel nice for you, please, please come join me in a puppy stretch. So, you could also do a straightforward child pose, but if puppy would feel nice, like a hammock, you got your butt high, you got your chest low, you let your spine dip and drape. Nice release for shoulders and abs. Catch your breath, steady, steady your breathing again. Heart rate will come down gradually. Super nice. Pull forward onto your elbows. Lengthen your legs. And just come into a sphinx stretch here for your hip flexors, for your abs. Again, lengthening the front of your body. And whew, breathing. Nice, easy breath here. And then either choose to remain a few more moments in your supported Sphinx pose. Or if you'd like to do five repetitions with me, I'm going to do a little cobra up and down. So hands by the sides of the chest, elbows can stay bent the whole time. Rise and release. If you're built in a way that it makes sense that your elbows go straight at the top, you're welcome to do that. It is not in any way required. This is all just about feeling good in your body and reintegrating after all that core work. But if you're doing the cobras, please hold at the top. If you're still in Sphinx, you can stay another moment there. Just reestablishing some length to the front of your spine, to the front of your body. And then you can soften whatever you have, release all the way down, rest your head, bend your knees, and go side to side with your legs, coming into a windshield wiper. 
Again, very soft and easy. Good, you can extend your legs back down. And let's go to a child pose, press yourself up. Sit your hips back, lengthen yourself out here. Such a wonderful, amazing job today, you guys. That was tough stuff. But we made it. <laughs> and here we are on the other side, all shiny and bright. <laughs> Hopefully, I hope you feel a little shinier and ready for the rest of your day. Good. When you're ready, you can come up. And that's what I have for you. If you have more time, of course, please take a little extra here on your mat and do some more stretching, some more yoga flow, anything that would feel nice. You've earned it. I thank you again for joining me, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.